Warning, 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 warning. The Drama King is in the building. The Drama King is in the building. 88 Shape, 05, Street Sweeper Radio, DJ K Slay, Drama King in the building. Jazzy Bell TV's in the building. What up? Oh man, you know, a lot of bullshit going on. You understand what I'm saying? What's up with this Donald <laughs> Trump nigga, man? I heard he, he kicked the lady out with her baby because she was crying out of... Like, what's the matter with this nigga? Listen. I mean, it's Donald Trump boy. at this point, Kate. Listen. What do you expect? <laughs> what I'm trying Savage. to... This is my problem. Please go out and vote, everybody. Real quick. Listen. <laughs> man, what, um, what I'm going to say is... What you going to say? The Donald Trump nigga <laughs> is making a whole mockery of the world. The United of States, America. Right? I, no, no, I'm, like I'm telling y'all, Definitely. like this we shit look crazy for him. Over here. Yo, listen, for him to even be able to be in the running and doing the shit he's doing at one at one point, motherfuckers was getting beat up at his rallies. Like if yeah. you if you wasn't with him, niggas getting punched, yeah, slapped, yeah. kicked. You disrespecting uh, Mexicans. You don't really for that. I just seen a picture he posted with him eating some KFC huh? with a fucking knife and fork. Hey yo, listen. That's how so could you trust a motherfucker? But how can you trust a motherfucker to eat chicken with a knife and fork? I don't trust, trust you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you better get your hands greasy <laughs> and your crazy. and your face and all. Like, come on, like yeah. who does at KFC with a knife and fork? Listen, this nigga is a clown. He Not is. to mention the nigga red the, nose and everything. Nigga, Kay. wife should be yeah. a straight stunting. You understand oh. what I'm saying? Hey. Yo. Yo, she, she is, should be bent over with a thong. She, she was a playboy. She was a she playboy. Was. What she am was. I saying, wrong? At least I'm gonna put. At least I'm gonna put some lingerie on her. <laughs> what are you talking at about? At least you gonna cover it I'm up. I'm gonna cover it up. Okay, that's true. You understand true. what I'm that's saying? True. Like she's not fit to be in the White House. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and yo, it's just, like, look, this shit is some clown ass. Shit, real talk. They need to stop all this shit. Listen, you it's know looking who, ugly out here for us. It is because they what? reaching for that black vote. How you e- eating KFC With on a, a jet on a private jet? Yeah, I don't listen. know nobody that ever ate KFC on a private yeah, before jet. Before that, he was in eating your a taco basement, in your crib. Before that, he called himself <laughs> eating tacos. And you know what he's supposed to be saying? Latino on, vote. That's yo, so racist bro, we don't in fuck itself. With you. None of us fuck with you, bro. Wow. You know, for only people that fuck with you is David Duke. And I'm KKK motherfucker. Absolutely. You understand what I'm saying? That's who fuck with Who we endorses him. Exactly. And he tries to deny he doesn't know anything about him. You're right, Kay. How you don't know about yeah. that shit, man? Y'all the same motherfuckers that's taking... Mm. Like, I have not seen a person from the Black Lives Matter movement shoot nobody yet, Mm-mm. beat nobody yet, stump nothing. Mm-mm. Y'all trying to label them as a motherfucking terrorist group. But yet the what KKK thugs. is still out this motherfucker that for deck y'all all better get the fuck up out of here. Yeah. And if y'all ask me, everybody need to just America need a break. We need to be single for a while. Don't vote for no fucking That's body. We feel, don't need no okay. president. We don't need no president. We need a bunch of motherfuckers like what they call that, like the mafia had to sit with, with the group of them. What 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 the what, uh, Lucky Luciano and them called their self the commission. Oh, the we need commission? a motherfucking commission out this motherfucker. <laughs> okay. And people come okay. to agree because we need, need a, we don't need nobody <laughs> else, man. We need to be single. We need, we need, to, to, we need be to be single. single for a while. We need a break. So we, we need a moment. Need we need a break. America needs to Give be single for a while so we can find ourselves. <laughs> I agree. Like with that in real one, relationships. Right? I agree. Yeah. With that one. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Radio? Yeah. Hey, I agree with that because it's fucked up on both sides. Either we bring, listen, bring Obama back for a third term, or we need to be motherfucking be single. Uh, I'm looking for Michelle guess. Obama to step up and be like, you know what? Our first female president is going to be her. I'm looking for her. Her speech was amazing at the DNC. It was amazing. And shout to Trump's wife who jacked. The, the old speed. Come on, get 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 them the fuck yeah, out of here. Plagiarized <laughs> it to the get fullest. Them all she the, plagiarized yo. it to the fullest. People try to holler at designer, and I and I, I fucks with designer. You cool, but people will try to say he's jacked. Future swag. No, this is official swag of Jacka when it comes to the whole country. Miss Milani, is that her name? Melania. I don't even know her name. I know it's so bad. Miss Playboy. Let's call her that, okay? Playboy. <laughs> Miss, Miss, <laughs> It's crazy. Word up, man. Come on, man. Like, yo, man. Like, look, get all this shit the fuck out of here. And if y'all don't like what I'm saying, anybody want to debate what I'm saying, 88 Shade 4 Five Call Station up. Radio, I call like up. This shit. All you KKK niggas <laughs> that might be in your truck, whatever. Why? Call the fuck up. Or oh, I want you KKK niggas to call up. Oh, God, oh, K. Call me. Hit me up, my nigga. K trying to start a war. Yo, dude, I ain't starting. I'm, I'm being real. I'm war. The motherfuckers oh, have war. They have war. war against us forever. I'm just you know talking about saying? war up here. There ain't no man. <laughs> fuck them KKK niggas. Oh, I'm with you. 
fuck them niggas all. is terrorists, yo. Yeah, and they ain't all. been labeled that. Y'all terrorists. Y'all been killing motherfuckers. Only thing y'all doing now is y'all don't took your hoods off now. And yeah. y'all just out in the open, just you know, slaying us. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Yeah, sad, so fuck sad, all y'all niggas, sad, yo. Sad. Well, we got Slim Thug in the building, man. What up Slim with Thug, it, man? What's up, man? What's up with it? I'm sorry, man. I had to just. I ain't mad. You know hey, saying? but we gotta tell the motherfuckers that we gotta tell them. <laughs> See, this is what I'm scared of, it's like. We telling them we saying fuck voting and ain't nobody we need a commission. But at the end of the day, them motherfucking KK pay people you talking about, they gonna go vote. Mm-hmm. Anyway. You know what I'm saying? And they gonna vote for him. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So yeah. we gotta tell these motherfuckers, hey, we gotta pick our poison. I know Hillary might not be your favorite motherfucker in the world, but <laughs> We gotta <laughs> pick her You know what I'm saying Or else we gonna be Dealing with him You know yeah. what I'm saying Yo I, I swear to everything I love I love for him to get In the office though You know why Oh, oh man No 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 no, no. Hold, hold on hold on Listen to me Listen what to me Listen to me <laughs> Alright let me, let, me, let me Let me tell you The method of my madness Okay That's gonna be the quickest Motherfucking impeachment That we ever saw In fucking presidential history, history. Cause he's <laughs> Fucking up so bad, he yeah. getting that motherfucking. Oh, that nigga be I, yo. He will just embarrass himself. Yeah. What's He's the rules fit? of impeachment? Once you get impeached, can, you can never run know, again. Get the fuck can, hell no. Hopefully get that's the case. Just get out of here. Leave the country. <laughs> no, I don't know about that. the country, but okay. you you out of here. <laughs> that shit crazy though, man. I can't believe it's close. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. can't believe people fucking with him like that. All the fuck shit he back to back doing. But well, Slim. I mean, I know, man. I know you a very intelligent brother. You gotta know. All this voting shit and everything, and I don't mean to bust nobody bubble. This is just to make the people feel like they got to say so. They elect the fucking president. Like, yeah. let's not get it fucked I've up. I've been saying shout that to the, since the shout beginning to the of the Shout to the my niggas. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> they your niggas. All oh, my niggas, shout, shout to my... Yeah, be careful with them niggas. <laughs> oh, man. Them, them, oh, them, niggas, them niggas lace your water or something, anything. Shout to my niggas. They, they, we already know. They, they elect them. Come on, man. <laughs> they gonna, them, them, them white folks going to be in there, though. They going to silently go in that poll and vote like a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. And we going to be looking confused. Like, man, we don't really fuck with none of them on the cool. We ain't going to vote. And then he gonna be having all kind of shit going on out here, man. I just seen some shit on the ground where he straight sounded like he was a, you know, in the 1960s, like mm. talking about, yeah, back in the day we would have drug him out they seat and they would have left out here on the stretcher if they would be in here talking I that shit. I saw that at one of his rallies. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is my That's point. Crazy. He's not fit to be a... At all. The only thing he got is some New York bullshit thug with him. That's it. He's a New York nigga. He's I think he's originally from Queens. He's from New York. Yeah, he definitely from here. Strong so arm, motherfucker. Come on, same thing. Do the bullshit. <laughs> nigga trying to get out his money. File bankruptcy. You know what I'm saying? So a nigga can't get paid. All that. This nigga, yeah. yo, this nigga's a savage. I he's think he's a, a distraction. At the, at the end of the day, I don't think he's definitely going to be in office. I think we're going to have Clinton there once again. But still, I urge everybody just because if you're black for your ancestors, Yo, go out yeah. and vote because people right. died for that. <laughs> let me let you know but what I'm I know. I'm agreeing with you, Kay. I really do feel like it's already rigged. They already know who's going to be there. Let's at least this try. This is just entertainment because there's no way Yo. a reality TV star should be a candidate for the presidency. It's At crazy. Do, do you ever it's remember? Crazy. Well, I mean, Ronald Reagan was an right. actor back in the day. We were getting technical, but if do you remember when how Bush won yeah, that true. time when all them votes got lost in Florida? That was right. the first time right. I ever Come voted. On. I remember what that. Fuck? Do you remember that shit? Yeah, that was Absolutely. Crazy. That's when I said, okay. This is when I said, okay. I understand what's going on. <laughs> Shout to Jed and whoever we have to have in there. Cool, but what, all I'm telling y'all is that. We need somebody with common sense. We got that little stupid nigga in Korea talking shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like he 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 been at us since his pop died. I don't know if y'all been keeping up with this little punk yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. You he understand? Be, he be off him up. He but too. now he's talking about he's declaring war. Man, look. They're creating a here. war. They're definitely creating these wars. That shouldn't be happening in the first place. It's just weird. It seems like shit just happening every day though. Yeah. Every it's day. like twenty every day. motherfuckers dying over here. Fifty. Fifty dying over here. But it's like I right, fuck it. What's next on the Instagram? You know, nobody they descent we desensitized to it. It used to yeah. be such a big deal. You know, we were crying in circles for a while. Nobody <laughs> don't even care no more. It's just like damn. You know when niggas don't care? Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you something. We've been real lucky for decades. But when motherfuckers get hit with some shit over here right. and they running ass naked through the street, they're, they're no food and Dying from motherfucking uh, gases and nuclear shit, whatever. Yeah. That's when motherfuckers, because yeah. see, we ain't never caught a whiff of that. 
Yeah. Like mm-hmm. they catch over like that. Yeah, we ain't never caught a whiff of that shit. Mm-hmm. That's when niggas is gonna understand, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? In they say well, for our street sweeper radio, I know we done spooked a couple of niggas. That's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. We got some music. <laughs> we got slow thug in the middle of the bar. What we playing? What we playing right now, man? Ruby, what first drink we wanna get into? One thousand featuring my homeboy Boosie, man. You know what I'm saying? Some real shit out. This American King gonna be out this Friday, man. Y'all support that world, please. Shape four five. Let's go. Cheers. Eight today. Shape four five. Street sweeper radio. DJ K Slate. Drama King in the building. Jazzy Bell TV in the building. Yeah. Slim thugger motherfucker. We Since in there, the man. American King out this yeah. Friday, man. Go get that shit, world. So um. What album is this of yours? Man, I'm doing a Hog Life series where I dropped like four albums, you know what I'm saying, in yeah. the last year. This the last installment of it. It's called American King, man. It's on some real motivational, like, you know, think like a king shit, man. I'm trying to get a youth something real, you know, and tell them, you know, get off the dumb shit, you know what I'm saying, stay out the way and get some money, man. Be hustlers and kings, you know, not dumb ass dope fiends, in the, you know what I'm saying, in the streets. That's real talk that's right real there. Try to balance it out, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's my thing. I don't mind anybody killing the block or talking about their life experiences and what we see. Because that's what we right. see when niggas be like, yeah, Slay, you talk that, you know what I'm saying, unity shit and this and that, but look at the music you play. I said, nigga, we can't erase what goes on in our motherfucking community. Right, right. Like, I, I'm not going to act like that shit don't exist. And this is people speaking their experiences where they come from. Now, if it's too tough for your ears, cut the shit off. Right. Ooh. You understand what I'm saying? But... <laughs> You know, I do like to hear brothers talk about that pain, misery, and suffering as well. I think it is right. necessary. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I mean, it resonates with a lot of people, so why not? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I just, I, I think it's lack of that right now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody glamorize. Everybody talk about they doing this. A lot. I just don't like how so many rappers that ain't talking about nothing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I ain't giving no yeah. type of message out. You know, I'm just trying to, yeah. as an OG, I ain't trying to, you know, um, Take nobody slot on the radio or nothing. I just want to say some real shit, and the motherfucker walk up to me and say, "Man, I was doing some dumb shit, but you woke me up, thug." You know, exactly. And a handshake. That's all I need. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We have one person that could say that, Joe. You said something that, you know, made me change my mind or, or look at a life in another right. aspect or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? And, and that's what hip hop was really all about. Like you understand, you got rappers and you got lyricists. Lyricists could change the way a people think. Live, you understand what I'm saying, right. and make it and uplift them. You know what I'm saying. Everybody can rap, shit. I can exactly. rap. Everybody in this room can rap. But can you uplift somebody with your lyrics? Can you make them think about changing their life? Could you make them identify with something that you said? Right. Make them want to go the other direction. You understand what I'm saying? And that's, that's the difference. And a lot of people don't really understand that. You know, what I'm the difference between rappers and lyricists. You that's know what I'm it, saying? man. That's all I'm trying to do, man. You know. At 35, you know, I just, I just, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of my partners, you know, everybody from the, everybody around me is street niggas, and I got niggas in the feds, free King Dre, free Shot Town, you know what I'm saying, and then my partner's doing like 10 years and shit, you know what I'm saying, when you see that, you like, fuck, you know what I'm saying, it's real, no matter how many rollies you had in this yeah. world, how many bits or whatever you was doing out here, it ain't never worked doing that 10 years in the feds, you know what I'm saying. Yo, and everything I love, I have a brother. One of them, he just came home too, but when he had 28 years in, he had wrote me. This shit gave me the creeps on some real shit. He said, yo, Slay, if I could just escape and get some pussy, I'd call them, tell them, yo, all right, I'm over here. I'm done. Come get me. Take me back. <laughs> right. It's, and people don't value 28 years. I'm, no no homo my nigga I'm surprised nigga ain't, Dick ain't fall off You beating your dick 28 years right, my nigga man. Yeah. With no pussy You ain't got no wife So you ain't got Just no looking at Trace to get exactly. you through but, You understand what I'm saying Right <laughs> Nigga but, said if he could escape And just get some pussy One time Get that feeling Think wow. about that He'd though, call man. the motherfucking police And tell them yo Okay I'm done Come get me Now how many wow. niggas Think about that out here You know the <laughs> niggas Who hustling or whatever Doing whatever they do uh, especially these young niggas, man, who who doing crash dummy shit, robbing, get doing aggravated crimes for a thousand dollars and you know twenty five hundred dollars, risking it all, you know, for that type of shit. Just they ain't thinking like that. They they feeling like they gonna get away instead of feeling like, damn, if I get caught one time, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying And the simplest shit Like you just say Getting some pussy Is not available You know what I'm saying Oh So simple Freedom is priceless man You know what I'm saying Especially when you gotta Just go to DR 30 pesos You good Right (laughs) You know Or if your game is right You ain't even gotta spend nothing (laughs) Nothing. You know So the fact that Something like you said Is small and minuscule Is that 
is is a big I deal. think I think the the streets missing a lot of patience. You know what I'm saying? I think everybody want what they want right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like everybody get their time to shine no matter what you doing. If you a real nigga, if you got morals and you ain't no fuck nigga out here doing no fuck shit, I feel like everybody going to get their time somehow some way, you know. I feel like they gonna have their time, but you know, a lot of niggas ain't trying to wait for that. But were you like that back in the day? I Can you say that? I definitely was. was that your mindset? Some, I definitely was on some dumb shit, you know, and uh, did a lot of dumb shit, and probably still do dumb shit from time to time. I ain't perfect. I ain't, you know, saying I'm better than anybody at all. Please believe that. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to get better, and also wake other motherfuckers up and try to make them think like, man, how much can I pay you to do 25 years in the feds? How much can I pay you to do 10 years in the feds? It's, it's price. You can't pay me nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I'd rather be broke and in the highs yeah. and going to work every day. You know what I'm saying? And do that. Yeah. And you know, and you don't never think about it like that until, like I say, your homeboys get jammed up or you know it affect you. Yeah, real yeah. talk. You know what I'm real saying? Talk, they say four five street super radio. Yo, look past that instant gratification, man. Think oh. about that longevity, yo. Uh-huh. Instant gratification. That's the exact. Acronym for IG for me. When I think of IG, I feel like people look for instant gratification. They right. look for those likes. They look for that love. They look for the the, the the little shit that really don't mean anything in the grand scheme of things, you know. They but that's where our it. world is right. is is consist of right now. We need that instant gratification. No, some people need that. You know what? Some people do, but you know what? Yeah. I I can't. And I tell people this, and they get mad. I'll be like, yo. They be like, yo. No, I had a chick tell me the other day, yo, you know, now that I got about 600,000 followers, I think you should manage me because I could do this and that. And I said, um, she figured you could monetize you that. Out, yeah, but I said, did you figure out how to turn any of that into money? Some money, right. I said, have you also figured out that once a nigga cut his phone off, that that shit don't exist? What if the and internet crashed, baby? She was just sitting What's there like, talents? like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what that, is your talents other nigga, than twerking? What if your shit get hacked? When niggas piss you <laughs> off. And you lose that. All you got to do is cut your motherfucking phone off. Their world is over. Yeah. All that shit don't exist. Yeah. Right. Don't get caught up in that shit. Just like when niggas tell me, yo, I got 5 million likes on my video. I mean, 5 million views. I be like, that don't mean 5 million people liked it, though. Mm-hmm. See, once you click that button, you can see some shit and go, oh, fuck this, right. man. Trash. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, Very true. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, that don't mean real. until you learn how to turn that shit into some money, yeah. I don't want to hear it, motherfucker. Right. Real talk. 80 Day Shave, 05, Street Sweeper Radio. Oh, we got some real nigga talk going on up yeah. here tonight. Uh-huh. What's the next the track we going into Slim Dog? What we need to hear from you. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, after you ready to go Tupac on uh, Korea <laughs> and kill everybody and their kids, we need some peace in the building, man. So peace for <laughs> is the next motherfucker we going to drop. <laughs> Let's go. Shave 45. 80 Day Shave, 05, Street Sweeper Radio, DJ K, Slave Drama King of the Building. Daddy hey. Bell TV in the building, Slim Thug what in the up, building. Though? Hey man, let's keep it peaceful in here, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, so keep it peaceful. We ain't gonna talk about what happened uh the, the next town over from Houston in oh, Dallas. Man. Okay, peaceful. Oh, man. Nigga, let's let's, let's Jeez, keep Louise. it peace. Let's keep it peaceful, all right? <laughs> um how many tracks you got on the album? Uh, I say it's about fifteen on there, right? About fifteen on there. Fifteen tracks. Yeah, man. You know, it's uh, if it's a deluxe copy on BossLifeWorld dot com, where it has all four of the CDs, the whole you know installment, and it kind of break down for other motherfuckers who don't who don't know the history of me. It shows from me starting in the game, chopped and screwed days to coming, you know, to what we doing right now, man. Mm. You know, so that's it's a physical copy. I wanted some, you know, do some people can touch out. So, but yeah, it's also on Apple Music and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? This Friday. You've been doing your thing for a minute, yeah. For a while. Man, independent man, and it's mm-hmm. been a blessing, man. I've been living good down there, you know, out for doing that, you know. So, you know, coming out here is, is gravy, man. It's just, you know, exposing me to a whole nother world, you know, because I don't even get this a lot. I just really promote out for, you know, social media for the most part. You know, you always welcome here, man. We've been fucking with each other. I appreciate y'all, man. From day one. You understand? Know always been 100 always. from day one. It's always. funny that now you promote on social media when your whole game plan in the beginning was yeah. the streets. And, <laughs> right. And, and doing it the gully way, the, right. the original way. That's, that's what era I come from, yeah. you know, hand to hand, out the trunk. You know, we used to go city to city and, you know, pop the trunk and sell the shit and take a picture, shine that motherfucker for you. We still do it. We'll pull up, we pulling up, you know, next week we going out through Texas, even in the uh, Rolls Royces and popping trunk with the people and 
and you know keeping it 1000 like we always did you know so we we still got that street love you know what i'm saying they know we going to keep it real but now you do social media you say digital said. social media Cause now that's the wave yeah digital we can reach the world now like you motherfuckers probably got millions you know no telling how many millions of people listening right now you know right. what i'm saying so by being able to do that and not having to send a CD because we independent, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got to send a physical copy. They can get it off Apple Music or whatever streaming thing they do. It can reach the world, you know, and it's, it's more profitable like that. It's like being major, you know, just it's more with profitable. Yeah. Right. Okay. Especially now, um, you know, I mean, I, I mean, people might get mad, but you know how I speak my mind. <laughs> I call it cheating, my nigga. Yeah. But I remember yeah. before you had to sell a million copies to be. Platinum. Right, right. Five hundred thousand be gold. <laughs> these niggas now count streams, exactly. Download all everything. So they count hits. a lot of these they niggas. Count YouTube uh, hits. Yeah, a lot of niggas getting these joints. Yo, dog, you're not really according to. T- <laughs> 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 but we gonna let it ride the way they doing it. Right. Like you know right. what I'm saying? Because I mean, I got some records coming out or whatever. I, I'd like to have one of the plaques too. But <laughs> and deep down in my in, in my soul, I know that Slay, you really cheated. <laughs> or oh, they really lied Because you've experienced because, because, both because Just I, like Slim Thug I think Because what I think it is Is that so many uh, Great artists mm-hmm. Really wasn't selling units Due to the internet Because here it is You give a cheap motherfucker The option to just get it for free Or pay for it right. Right. A lot of niggas Before with this, That had a $20 bill Would go buy a Biggie album they, sure. they they buy they and have three dollars left over. Say fuck it, I will pay seventeen. They'd buy, you know, Nas. They'd buy UGK. You know I remember right? when they'd it buy stopped. Those. I remember. But what happened when that internet came? The nigga with twenty dollars say, well, shit, I could download this bitch and still go get me a dime bag of smoke, get me a few blunts, and get something <laughs> to drink, and still have a couple of dollars. You right. understand what I'm saying? I hear you like guys. they gave a nigga an option now. You understand exactly. what I'm saying? Like so, with that happening. Mm-hmm. The physical copies is kind of like I, I, I give physical I give CDs about two more years if that same way they, they two more they, months they got rid of okay. cassettes. <laughs> you understand? Remember, how, yeah. remember how cassettes was? You understand? And I'm still old school. Like I love a physical copy. <laughs> I want a CD so bad, but I'm just yeah. now getting used to iTunes. And now everybody's confusing me with Spotify. I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't know even what know is. what the fuck yeah. title is. Shout out to Jigga. I don't know what that is. <laughs> like yeah. I still like I'm old school at this point. And I, me think, too. I think I'm still young, but I'm considered old school to a lot of these young chicks coming up. So I don't know what the fuck is going on. You got some. Think that a, I uh, want a mom and pop store. I want to buy a CD. I want to read the credits. I want to read the thank yous. And a lot, of, and a lot of women <laughs> like to do that. I missed that too. And then, yeah. and then, with a lot of artists are so motherfucking stupid, and I'm gonna say stupid oh, for God. this reason in particular is that, come on, we all know uh, no less. Everybody knows no less than about a hundred niggas behind the ball. Yeah. Cassettes, my niggas. Cassette. You know if a nigga, if you know if you drop your project and put that shit on cassette, how much other motherfucking money you get in the pen? You know how many people are incarcerated? Our brothers and sisters around the motherfucking Unfortunately, United States. Yeah, yeah. Not that you're proud of it, but yo, right. you know how many niggas hit me and I'd be like, damn son, I gotta find a nigga that could transfer this CD to this cassette for you. Yeah. You understand? Understand? Yeah. That's wild bread, my nigga. You think the niggas don't want music? They think you think they don't want this slim? My niggas in the brother? feds always hit me up about it, man. It's okay. Some shit. What? What? The, you know the name of it? Core links is some shit they call it now, the where they can get it, you know, a different way. They always tell me, man, you need to get your shit up in here, bro. You know, niggas be buying it, you know. So I think it's, I, was, I don't think it's a cassette though. It's, it's like some digital shit. You got some digital shit going down. Yeah, look, see, look, they done really? they they tapped they into even, it. You see what I mean? Yeah. That shit now. They done found a way to say, fuck they you did niggas a again. They way for the jail system. Right, right. That's yeah. kind of well, crazy. Well, the feds, a lot of them have. Mm-hmm. A, Access to the computers yeah. right. Right. Some of them yeah. Yeah, all I get some. emails from the guys and Shout out could, to yeah, Shout out to yeah. my boys Hi Yeah Kentucky <laughs> Indiana and all of them They yeah. hear us right now They got Shade 4 or 5 now right. Down there They, right. they got yeah. it You understand yep. what I'm saying So Definitely shit, is, shit is getting advanced But what I'm saying Is like my niggas A lot of niggas Don't get that they don't get CDs because you know you can crack a CD in half. That's an ox. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, know, just think, man. Like physical shit is, is still popping. But shout out to Slim Thug for the already platinum when you uh, had that one. You was already platinum uh, before. Shout out to that album. Hey, that's, that's you did the that with um, Pharrell. Pharrell, Star yeah, Star Trek. Yeah, back in the gap, man. That's the only album I put out on a major label. Everything else I did was independent. When did you make that transition from going from 
major to independent. Like, what after that think? album, after that album, the whole label changed at Geffen. It was a different A and R, different people who signed me, you know, from the top to the bottom, and it was just uncomfortable over there, you know, because it wasn't the people who signed me. They wasn't moving fast mm. like you know the other people. So I was like, man, look, hey. I don't before y'all can shelve me, man. Let me out of this. I pay you, motherfuckers. Please let me go. It had nothing to do with Pharrell or Star Trek. You know they was always one hundred, but I was like, man, I need to get back to doing what I do. I like yeah. being in control of my own shit. You know? Yeah, you was one of one to start that way. Been in that natural person way. before. I know. Yeah, <laughs> to hold yeah. your ass on Gilligan's Island right. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what the skipper and them yeah, niggas did? Y'all better get you the fuck up out of here, my nigga. Let me out. We ain't doing this. 88 Shade 405, Street Sweeper wow. Radio. What's the next joint you will play, thought? What we got over there, G? Real, you got Go and play Real. You know, Real is another record out for the uh, American King, man. You know, we just, you know, on some real shit for the most part, man. Let's play that. Street American 45. King coming out Friday. 88 Shade 405, Street Sweeper Radio. DJ K Slate, Drama King of the Building. Jazzy Bell TV's in the building. Ooh. Slim Thug is in the building. We in here, man. Chilling, man. Appreciate y'all, man. That was a nice, nice soulful joint right there. Yeah, man. I'm trying to, you know, stick to what I've been doing, man. You know what I'm saying? I know it ain't the turn up wave, but, you know, I want to stay in my own lane. You know what I'm saying? And stay out the way of what's going on now. Nah, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm one of them individuals when I'm home. You could hear me knocking Elton John, Earth right. Wind Fire, <laughs> Ohio Players. You understand? Oh, I need a baker. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, you know, like, that, like that's that shit that, you know, like, you know, that yeah. cool out shit. You know what I'm saying? I shit. promise. I got a whole little playlist, man. We got us, what, six hours on the road. Them niggas like, where you get this shit, man? It was nothing but the uh, Gap Band and, mm. you know, Boosie Collins and shit like yeah. that, man. That I want to be with you. Yeah, that's that the only shit. record y'all know. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> all that real shit from back in the gap, man. You never hear shit like that no more, man. She Collins was the original rubber band man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For those of y'all that don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, come Shout on. out to T.I. The rubber band yeah. man. Yeah, the original. He you know was what original. Yeah, I used to like Boosie because he used to have them, them star glasses, like yeah. Diamond Doubt. He, he, he called it. Yeah, yeah, like, like he was I used like, to like George Clinton. Well, he was like a and branch from that tree. Yeah. Like, right. that, you understand right. what I'm saying? Like, right. you know, but we, what, what, what you know about that? My daddy, I'm from Detroit, so you know I know that soul for music. I know everything about that. Okay. Yeah. Name one of the records that you like the most. From who? The people you just named, George Clinton <laughs> and the fucking Delic. Right, George Clinton and the fucking Delic. Come on, my brother Toad is in the middle. Toad, give me a record. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. <laughs> Trying to catch the alley you. <laughs> Toad, throw that real quick. Well, my favorite joint was What's Flashlight. Yeah, we got that on the jam. Yeah, you tell me flashlight was it called? Flashlight. You know what it is? Feel good music. Yeah. All right. That um. Tear the roof off the sucker. Tear the roof off the motherfucker. That's that feel good music. It just automatically puts you in a good mood, man. But Houston yeah. is about that life. Houston got a lot of it's a lot of soul in Houston. Yeah, man. We you know we we definitely what well, through Pimp C a lot of that you know Shout he, to Pimp. he was real you know yeah R I P Pimp. Rest in peace. He yeah. loves sampling that old funky shit, man. You know who got that 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 hook swag? Not his rap, but his hook swag is similar to Pimp C that people don't really be giving props to. The brother Zero. Oh yeah, zero. Zero sure. got that. But yeah. yo, niggas ain't that's up on Z. Zero. Zero's a fucking zero is my bro. He just dropped drinking and driving, man. It's out there. Make sure y'all go get that shit. But he definitely, man, one of the the last of the trill. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Who keep that trill sound going? You know what I'm saying? And me and him, we working on that. We well, we basically did an album. We trying to drop that motherfucker around Super Bowl, man. But that's somebody who definitely on this new American King album and on everything. Oh, you got zero on it too, for sure. You know. Every Zero. every last one of the albums I dropped off of the uh off of this last little, that little nigga series. underrated like a motherfucker. Very bro. underrated, man. I got him on my album too, boy. Very I, re underrated. I reached for that. Yeah, man. Look nah, up. but it, Zero yeah. one of the best out of Texas, man. I just uh somebody asked me who was my top five, and I had put him in it, you know, for sure. Oh wow. shit! Wow. Okay. Well, give us the other four. I was talking about out of Texas, man. Um, you know, definitely UGK, mm -hmm. Scarface. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. who else? I said um uh, out of out of H Town. UGK, um, now we said the South, matter of fact. I put T.I. in it also. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, man. 
Yeah. All them motherfuckers, they've been doing their thing for forever and representing for real and keeping the trail. Do you, like, you have a top five? I like eight ball and MJG. Too. Eight ball and MJG for I sure. Right yeah. There, yeah. And, 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 and uh, the group is. I liked them individually, but I, I loved when yeah. Three Six Mafia was hard. all together. When they was yeah. all together, like. Yeah. Woo. Definitely Three Six Mafia. Outcast yeah. for me was like everything. Yeah, Outcast yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. Yeah, Outcast, you know. I yeah. really became an Outcast fan when they did the joint with Ray Kwan. You understand? Right. You understand? Like, I'm not Not no lie. Southern playlist, Cadillac. Funky music. That's that day one shit. That's cut, day one. Cut a mic off. She's fucking the song up. <laughs> no, that's it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, you know when you had Big off. Boy up here, I was like, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. No, Outkast is definitely it. Where is all that at, man? We need that type of shit back, man. Yeah, but it's, it's up for uh, your brothers, you know, down that, you know. To try to re influence them exactly, to get man. back to that. You understand exactly. what I'm saying? Like, I mean, everybody got to stop wave following. Same thing I tell brothers up here, yo, my niggas. Like, only way I respect you if you do a joint with a Southern flow is if you got one of my Southern brothers on it. Then it makes sense. You understand right, what I'm right. saying? But other yeah. than that, you know, like, do your own thing. Do what yeah. you're known for. I'm stuck on that too, man. I be trying to tell motherfuckers, man. Rap like we from Texas. Don't want. I don't want y'all to sound like Atlanta niggas or, you know, nobody else from somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, at the same time, I don't knock them. You know, it's the new generation. Yeah. They on some new yeah. shit. It's yeah, cool. Yeah, 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 but you know, but at the end of the day, man, that's the type of shit I love. Yeah, you know? I'm just on some authentic shit. Right. Like the, the, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm, like I'm gonna stay real, in man. my lane and yeah. I'm gonna stay doing this trill shit that I grew up on and stay trying to represent that culture. I ain't out here trying to. You know, sound like I'm from New York or Atlanta or nowhere else. I just want to sound like a Texas nigga. Yeah, you sound exactly. like K Slay with that one. <laughs> there you go. K Slay would say that every day. That's it, man. I'm right. New York. I ain't knocking what y'all do with everywhere else. But if you're yeah. from New York, why you don't sound like you from New York? Exactly. You know, and yeah. it's, just, it's just like the dick riding wave right now. You know it's what so saying? crazy. Like, it ain't, it's a, how accepted it is. Like, mm -hmm. it seemed like, you know, whoever the hottest motherfucker is 10 more motherfuckers coming up that sound just like them, look like them. And it don't matter. <laughs> and everybody like, fuck it. You know, we're going to listen to it anyway. And you know that wasn't happening You know what's then. another pet peeve of mine is when a nigga take another nigga record, his beat. Now, I say the beat is hot. Mm -hmm. But you take it and you rap just exactly. like he's rapping mm -hmm. on a motherfucker where you sit your ass down somewhere. <laughs> that for one, the BDS is going to him. And you ain't getting nothing out of it. Two, <laughs> take that nigga beat and rip it your own way. Right. Then it's like, oh, that nigga took that nigga beat and disrespected it. You understand? Not you got on there and you Act like you wanted to be on the record, but they yeah. ain't take your verse. Get the fuck out of here. That's a great jewel you're dropping right there. It's the there. truth, though. It is, it is. It's the truth. Right. Like, come on, man. Like, you mean to tell me, like, you're going to really emulate a nigga whole shit? And then this is oh, the thing that's... Right. Let me tell you the worst thing about it. This is it right here. I don't care if y'all niggas get mad. <laughs> Even saying it out of show. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, niggas be getting mad, and I got to give them the disclaimer. I don't, I don't care. I don't fucking care. <laughs> when they take... No a care. whack nigga joint and they do that know. you making that nigga hot how yeah. how you this lyrical nigga and you get on a whack nigga joint and rap like the whack nigga <laughs> nigga oh, you toned man. down yo, yo son you compromised your whole shit and you you made it where this whack nigga can be like oh look I got so so on my dick now too <laughs> Damn, okay. Yeah, you so true. mental with your shit. That's I'm true. just looking at you because I'm like, that's I know what true. you're saying. It is. And I totally I get, get it. it. I like, get you feel it. what I'm saying? I, get I totally what he's saying get like it. Totally that's get it. That's just like a nigga uh, make a record. Mm. It's called say, yo, I beat my dick because I don't get no pussy. <laughs> right? And niggas start playing it. Yeah. Right? And niggas are talking. And now, A list niggas, lyrical, get on that. My right. nigga, like you really gonna compromise? That's not just even a content that you would even, even rap about. And even though, though you are getting ass, you do it just because this shit is hot and right you want to fit it. Get the fuck out of here, yo! Yeah, you gotta right stop now. that, B. That right you understand now, what I'm you, you got real, real tall, okay? Yo, B, I feel like I'm watching talk. you and I'm watching nah, Payton Full. No. We need to stop that, B. Nah, real nah, talk. A. But that's just the motherfucking lingo. Pull your skirt up, yo. <laughs> nah. Yo, B, niggas is just violating with that shit. Stop yo, I it. love it, Kay. You so do you. Stop it. Stop I won't it. have it any other that's way. Just like, that's just like, yo, Slim, that's just like next week, K Slay comes out with a chopped and screwed album. Exactly. OG Ron C and all them niggas got the right to whip my ass. Yeah. Like, I'm saying, niggas, 
shit on me, curse me out, do everything. Nigga, that's not what we do. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Like, Absolutely. that's not respected. That's their joint, right? Like, let niggas that's do what Texas. they do. That's Texas. That's chopping now, screws. Now, only yeah. way you ride, like, only way I give a nigga pass is if you collabo with a nigga, then you got to pass to act silly. Right. You understand? Know I like so, how it was, like, you know, how it was separate back in the day. You know, mm-hmm. in the 90s, you had you had the UGKs doing that Texas shit. You had the Nas's and the Jay-Z's exactly. doing that New York rap. You had the West Coast doing what they do. And, Dre, that, and Snoop, that was beautiful, Tupac. the Dre's and Snoop, everything. Yeah. You know, because you want to hear the different styles. Now it seems like everybody sound like everybody. It's just like, damn, you know? When you go to a nigga town, you, if you listen to, like, Terrestrial Radio... Yeah, you don't know what city you in. Exactly. If you was to have, if a nigga blindfolded you, it <laughs> rode you ten hours. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And said, "Yo, uh, you gotta tell me where you at for a million dollars when I throw the radio on and don't let no jock talk." Niggas wouldn't be able to know where Damn, the fuck they were. Right. Took it there, and I think that what was what was so important about what you were doing when you went. Um, you know, independent. Right. It was like everybody had their own sound. Exactly. Yeah. So it was what you were talking about, K. A person could be able to like differentiate what where they were. Exactly. You know, so can't do that. I, I feel to. like I missed that. Exactly. Me yeah. too. That's I try to keep that alive. You know, and I don't mind if I'm the last motherfucker doing it. You know, whoever. Yeah. You know, cool. I take it. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, stick to but your when guns. you want to hear that Texas shit, turn on that thugger, man. That Slim Thugger. Slim you know what Thug what the saying? boss. Eighty-eight four five Street Sheep Radio Slim Thug. I want to thank you for coming through, sitting down with us, networking with us. Yes, sir. Politic Appreciate y'all us, having me, man. Letting us know what's going on with the Slim Thug. Friday, you know the album. Uh, Friday, American King, man. Go get that. If you can't get it out of the store or get it out of Boss Light World, Apple Music, whatever streaming thing you check out, man, fuck with me. What's the next joint you want to ride out to? Which one, uh, which man. One? Which one we ride out to? Hustle featuring my boy Zero. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Okay, it makes sense. Throw that, that is. on, man. <laughs> Keep it locked. We got Ron on test coming up next. Shade World 45. Meta Peace. Shade 45. Yeah. Warning. 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 The Drama King is in the building. The Drama King is in the building.